Hello to Great Southern Ancient Miniature Man. And I've got the first presentation proper, the Persian Satrapies Program 2024. So this one I'm focusing right here on Lycia, Southern Anatolia, a fascinating little kingdom um, which was heavily influenced by the Greeks, but quite a separate and unique um, uh, cultural group, really, with its own language, um, religion, and uh, traditions, which uh, gradually got uh, kind of integrated and uh, sponged by the more dominant um, Greek cultures further uh, along the Ionian coast uh, of Anatolia here. Um, they were quite famous for a number of things, particularly uh, their coins, amazingly skilled coin makers. And I'll just show you a quick picture of some of them. There's lots of them available online if you want to just browse for their um, Lycaean coins, but uh, quite beautiful. Uh, an amazing number has been dug up um, with fantastic uh, images of people and uh, mythical animals. And this symbol uh, circle with the radiating uh, spokes is a quite a prominent one through uh, Lycaean archi, uh, what's the word, iconography. Um, so I've done a few customized shield uh, paintings to um, be based on some of them. So without further ado, we will get into showing some of the figures, um, which are predominantly by Grouping Beast and Vendel Thistle and Rose. So uh, I'll just pause this and get those guys up. Let's start with the good old backbone of most of the ancient armies, which is the spearmen. Uh, these guys are a mixture. I've done a bit of modifying, actually, because there was not a lot of poses available. So the two main companies that make the Lycaeans are, uh, say, Vendel, Thistle and Rose, and a Gripping Beast. Um, so these boys are based on Gripping Beast. I've changed their head there for a, a Persian one, because obviously they would have had a bit of influence from them. This guy for a, changed his head for a Greek one. And he is, actually he's a Vandal Thistle and Rose, and I've given him also a Persian head. Um, let's get some more spearmen up. Predominantly gripping beast there. So the only one who isn't is this guy is a Vandal Thistle and Rose. And you can see they're slightly bigger, the Vandal guys. They're generally a bit on the chunky side, but I think they work pretty well together. They, um, yeah, they don't look ridiculously different scales so um, I'll give you a bit of a look at them for a moment and then we'll put up the next lot of spearmen I quite like doing them um, one thing actually you notice the sickle in that guy's hand so one of the most characteristic things about the Lycaeans was the weapons of sickles that don't seem no company seems to make them so I end up um, just having to fashion my own I've just I used some credit cards and old credit cards and cut them up and uh, filed them down a bit and uh, got shapes that look vaguely like decent sickles. So he is one of them. A bit of blood stain on his uh, trickling down his arm and so on. I'm pretty happy with him. Um, some of their shield designs, as you might have noticed, the coins before I've free handed them. This funny beast looks a bit like a hedgehog, not quite sure what it is. And I've done a few of those symbols with the circle and the radiating um, spokes coming out of it. Um, and others I've used transfers mostly from the excellent uh, Carthage Must Be Destroyed Water Slide Greek set that I've viewed in a previous video. Let me go to the next lot of spearmen here. Slip them on so these this time. Uh, much more of the um, Vendel Thistle and Rose guys so both back corners are gripping beast but oh and he's gripping beast so these three three and three these three dudes are Vendel um, and as you see they've done very similar kind of designs with uh, curly hair and the cloaks um, the blue and white sort of a theme that I've used based one Osprey image of a Lycaean uh, spearman who was dressed that way but mixed it up a little bit with other colours and so on. Done them fairly muted tones. Um, what else to say about these dudes? I'll just have a look at their shields as they come around again. So some of them again were 
three-handed that one. I think actually that one makes that set. Okay, let's get those guys off and we'll go on to <clears throat> might bring up the um the sickle men. So I've done a number of them. As I say, they've had to be heavily modified because unfortunately no one actually makes them for us. So here we go. A small brigade of these dudes. Here's the commander. Um, yep, that's it for them. This one's out of, again, uh, one of the Osprey books uh, of the Persian armies, um, based on that. Really happy with those sickles, they, they look all right. Uh, yeah, these are the guys I've modified. He's got a new arm. So on. Okay, that'll do for them. The other interesting thing about the Lycaeans was their um, propensity to make these amazing cliff face tombs carved straight into the solid cliff faces high up above the landscape, which towered over many of the valleys, which looked amazing. And the culture, I gather, was a bit similar to the Etruscans in that they had um, linguistic connections and sort of um, some common shared interests but they were very independent in their own city states uh, this is a command group from scooping beast uh, so i've given him a bit of the persian influence so he's got one of those blue cloaks with the um, uh, sort of uh, leopard lining which uh, i've seen a number of uh, persian commanders around the time of the Achaemenid empire and uh, that seahorse symbol i've free handed him he's one that's um well known to be uh a feature of the um the lycaean people um the other feature that's very common and i think all these guys have got it is these sort of gaiters that they wore with the white uh sock style things often a red band around them and then the front folded over so i've done all of the these guys just to give them a common theme um, with those. I mean, all of them, pretty much all of them come with them anyway, but I've painted them in those pale colours to um, just sort of highlight that. And then the final group are a whole lot of archers, and these are mostly, well, these guys are all of Vendel, Thistle and Rose. I've got a few that I've done. Um, he's just changed his head for a Victrix head. And uh, similar with this, same with this guy. And then this one, I've totally um, kit-bashed him as the commander of the archers. So if you're looking for them on the Vendel Thistle and Rose Facebook page, because remember, they don't actually have a website. You've got to get them through Facebook. They're actually in their fantasy range for some reason. Um, they're all quite nice. There's one guy I want to show you who's really bizarre. I've never seen this before. It took me a while to work out what was going on with him. Here he comes, the guy with the red hair. His left hand is a bit weird, so if you have a look at it, he's got a flat face to the this side of his hand. And then on the back, he's got this lump, which took me a while to work out what it was, but his hand is basically just turned around, completely round the wrong way. So he's got the thumb on this side and then the dorsum of his hand on this side. So I don't know how quite that happened with their sculpting. That was a bit of a whoopsie. Um, just going to have to put it down to a, some sort of bizarre birth defect this guy has. <laughs> a bit of a liability for an archer having a hand twisted around 180 degrees. Anyway, he doesn't seem to mind. And the other thing with them is the uh, poses their hands. I mean, they're pretty kind of lazy sculpt in a way. It's clearly the same as they use for the spearman. So you've got him in a position where he could be holding a spear, um, but he's supposed to be drawing a arrow out of his uh, quiver there. So I think neither set of figures blow me away. That is neither the Gripping Beast nor the um, Middle Thistle and Rose. They're both pretty solid, but yeah, they're not amazing. Um, but as I say, they're really the only companies that have made any effort to uh, portray this fairly rare and interesting culture. Um, I think that's the majority of what I wanted to say. Oh yeah, the other ones, of course, are the ones I did show earlier in a 
It's got a bit of a preview, which is the Lycaean Marines. And they are by um, uh, Red Copper Design. These ones were made by 3D, uh, by Potbelly Miniatures in New Zealand. And I think I mentioned, so they're 3D printed. I think they're certainly resin anyway. Um, I think I mentioned in the other video that uh, they bear a striking resemblance to the Sea Peoples. And I've since um, read that they probably were at least some of the Sea Peoples, which is why they look so similar. So the guys who invaded, uh, uh, particularly Egypt, um, it's very unclear exactly where they came from. You know, some of them probably Greek, but anyway, it's thought that may well have been a significant component of them, at least were Lycaeans, and it wouldn't have been very far to sail from that coast straight to south to Egypt. So there you have it, that's the Lycaeans, first of the uh, satrapies of ancient Achaemenid Persia. They were good fun to paint. I did feel I'm happy to move on to another culture once by the time I got through them, just because there's such a lot of similarity with their, all the different styles in from the other manufacturers. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I've done them, and um, I will be moving on to others soon. I may go via Greece again, just because of the um, fact that uh, you're probably aware Victrix have put out another set of Greek hoplites, which look amazing, much more dynamic than the others. So they're on their way here, and I'm going to get straight into painting up some of them, give you a bit of a look, probably before I go into any other satrapies. I might do some of them as... Um, Ionian Greeks and maybe Carians, but uh, we shall see. Okay, I hope you enjoy, and as usual, like and subscribe, and plenty of comments, please. I'm getting minimal comments. I don't know what's going on out there. Don't be afraid to put some information or questions or comments in below, and um, I hope to see you on the next video. See ya. Yeah, thank you.